everyone welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you're all doing really well if you are new here welcome to my youtube channel and my little space on the internet my name is lauren and the content i create is pretty much all based around lifestyle i do things from fashion and styling outfits to interiors and homeware that is definitely going to be an area that i'm doing a lot more content on this year thank you so much for subscribing if you have if you haven't please do click the subscribe button for today's video i wanted to film something a little bit spring focused i feel like i haven't done a proper sit down chatty video with you for a while so in a similar kind of format to the capsule wardrobe video that i filmed a couple of months ago which i will leave linked below if you haven't watched it already I think you guys really liked that one. I was looking at the stats and it seems that you guys really enjoyed it. So I thought we would do something a little bit similar, but more along the lines of spring. I filmed a couple of wish list videos in the past and you guys loved them. So I thought this video could be a bit of a merge between what's on my wish list for spring. It's also my birthday coming up. So I have a few things in mind that I would really like to add to my collections. Just a little disclaimer, whenever I create these wish lists, it's often things that I've thought about for a really long time and it may be things that I'm actually not going to purchase. It could be things that I'm just thinking about. I add them onto my wish list. I have a notes page on my phone where I add all of these things on and when I'm shopping or when I want to buy something new, I go back to my wish list and see if there's anything that I really like still. If there's things I don't. It's basically a really good way for me to track what I'm spending, what I'm buying, and just shop a little bit more consciously, and I'm not just impulse buying. So I'm firstly going to start with like the luxury designer kind of section. I haven't actually made a big purchase for a very long time. I've been saving my money very strictly um, with the run up to the house. We are actually moving house in a couple of months and it's going to be a renovation project. If you don't watch my vlogs, you probably won't know anything about it, but yes, we are moving house. It's gonna be a very big project. So I'm literally saving all my money for the house and I cannot wait and I'm being so tight with my money <laughs> which is why the wish list comes in handy because often I write things on there that I've seen in store or I've seen on Instagram and I really love but if I can't let myself buy it or I can't bring myself to buy it then it means I don't need it and I don't really want it so it's a really really helpful way to shop especially when we're talking about big purchases so that leads me on to my first item on my wish list which is a new tote bag so I do actually have a couple of tote bags I have a Longchamp and a Goyard and I love them I use them a lot but they aren't really the right style for what I'm intending on using this bag for so I want something that will be a really good bag kind of all year round and what started me off loving this style of bag was actually the Dior book tote that kind of square really sturdy structured shape I love I really love sturdy bags that you can just put down and they're not going to move and my tote bags are really flimsy, really flexible. Great for packing, great for kind of every day, but I wanted something that would be a really good kind of airport bag. I could take it to the beach. I could use it every day with like my laptop and shooting and I could fit quite a lot in it. You guys probably know I absolutely love Celine. It's my favorite designer brand. I love Celine so much. And there are two bags from Celine that I have my eye on that I really love. Firstly is the large cabass, I think it's called, this one here. So this is more of like a canvas bag, much more neutral, much more kind of like spring summer focused, but still something I could use in the autumn as well. I absolutely love this bag. I think it is so stunning. I love the fact that it's got that natural canvas but then it also has the tan i just think it's gorgeous and styling this up i think it's going to be so easy what i really love about this bag as well is that the shoulder straps actually fit on your arm i have a basket bag from loewe which i love and adore and i've had for a couple of years now and i always use it in the summer but it's a bit of an awkward shape so it doesn't fit loads in and for kind of a big everyday bag that i want to be using a lot I need it to go on my shoulder really easily, but also be a really good structured square shape so that I can actually fit a lot in. So this is definitely on my mind. In contrast to that, I actually also have the horizontal cabass in the Triumph. Now this is actually a leather. It's a little bit more wintry. I feel like this bag is much more autumn winter focused just because it's those darker tones, but I love it. I think it's so gorgeous. 
so i'm really torn between the bags in terms of the price there is a few hundred pound difference so it's not wildly different this one is more expensive but i think you can just tell that it looks a lot more luxurious it looks a lot more refined and this is the kind of bag that i can imagine wearing all year round but i don't know if it's the type of bag that i would actually take to a beach club or to the pool or the beach and that is kind of what i want this bag to do i want it to be practical for any occasion and any season and any time period but i don't know which one would be better so if you guys have any opinions please let me know down below because i would love to hear your thoughts next up i am moving on to shoes i've really invested a lot in my shoe collection and i've thought so carefully about the shoes that i buy especially when they are high end i think about them for a really long time and i kind of notice when i'm getting ready what i feel like is missing from my wardrobe and what would work really nicely so last year one of my main avenues that i wanted to go down were the hermes oran sandals and i actually did purchase a couple from june as well which are great dupes if you don't want to spend the money on the oran i have that style of sandal in all the colors i need and they are so handy white black and tan are kind of my go-to colors spring summer i don't tend to wear any other colors so having shoes in those colors are very handy but a pair of shoes that i did notice i really missed were a pair of kind of everyday shoes that were a hybrid between a sandal and a trainer which sounds a little bit weird but i'm talking about espadrilles i have had a few pairs of espadrilles in the past and i did actually used to own a pair of chanel espadrilles which i bought secondhand from vestiaire collective years ago probably five six years ago now and i loved them and i wore them so much they actually were a much lower price because they were secondhand and they were worn and i loved them and i wore them to death but i did have to get rid of them because they were so ruined holes in stained they were a mess and i have had a chanel espadrille shaped hole in my heart since then and i haven't had them for a good few summers now so i really really want to purchase another pair but i will be getting them from the store so they're brand new and they're gonna last me a lifetime these are actually pretty identical to the ones that i used to own however the ones i had before were just a very simple canvas white they didn't have this kind of tweed boucle texture to them like these ones and i actually way prefer these i feel like they are much more durable they go with my wardrobe so well if you know me you know that i love a boucle wool cropped jacket and that is literally all i seem to be wearing at the moment and probably will be for a long time so these would fit in my wardrobe so well i know i would wear them loads they are such a practical shoe and from having them in the past i know they are so comfortable they literally work for any occasion whether you're wanting to dress them up a little bit if you want to wear flats with a really nice dress to like a wedding or something they are such a lovely option especially because i don't think ballet pumps and kind of like ballet flats are my vibe these are so much more up my street and i absolutely love them so in the next month or so i definitely need to go and try these on see what i think in real life check out other colorways or other kind of tones of nude and see what else i can find but yes you may be seeing these on my instagram spring summer and my next shoe that i am so desperate for is a pair of nude heels and heels are something that i never really invest money in i have a few pairs but the ones that I reach for the most are my Dior Slingback heels in black. I have had those for a couple of years and honestly, they're the only heels I wear. They are so comfortable. They go with everything. They look so chic. And the fact that they are so comfortable is why I always reach for them. I'm definitely one of those people that opts for comfort over style. And I, if you can merge the two, then brilliant. And those shoes definitely do that. I have worn them at events like Ascot, at weddings, all day and all night and my feet are literally fine they are so comfortable definitely recommend them if you're on the hunt for a black pair of heels but when it comes to nude i feel like there's really not a lot on the market and there's really not a lot of style of shoes in nude that i love the only pair that i have been thinking about and i have searched all over the internet for nude high heels and the manolo blahnik maisley i think that's how you say it 
sling back pumps are always the one that I come back to. They are so classic, so timeless, go with everything. And they just look really chic. They're the type of shoe that I can imagine wearing into my mum days and when I'm much older and are just gonna go with all my outfits. Jeans, dresses, evening, day, they just are so versatile and that is what I want in a pair of shoes. So these are definitely, definitely high on my wish list. As I said earlier on in the video, I am saving all my money for the house and I am so excited. I have been planning a lot. Me and Jack have been sitting down at the weekends and going through all our plans and making a, an extensive list of all the things that we want and need. And I've started to browse quite a lot, create a lot of mood boards. If you do wanna see a specific video on this, then do let me know. I know that as soon as we move in, I am gonna be in full decorating, renovating mode and I probably won't have enough time as I do now to kind of think about it and plan it. So I'm really making the most of this period of time before we move in. But I do have quite a lot of things on my wish list that I know we will be purchasing. So I thought I would include them in this video as well. So moving on to the home pieces. First thing is a new coffee table. I love our coffee table, but I've had it for a while. And to be honest, it's a little bit scratched. It's got a chip out of it. And I just feel like it's not really the right thing. It's a little bit too small for our new living space. So I've been on the hunt for a really gorgeous Calacatta marble table. And I found this brand called Studio Home, which I found on Instagram. And they have got the most gorgeous coffee tables, side tables. Oh my goodness, they are perfect. So this is the one that I've got my eye on. It's the Viola Medium. So I think this one is going to be perfect for our space. It's got such a nice length to it and our living room is going to be very long. So I want something that kind of really fills up the space and is a real eye-catching piece that we're gonna have forever. Next up is cushions. I love Soho Home. I mean, who doesn't? Their cushions are just absolutely phenomenal. These two cushions from Soho Home, I've had my eye on for ages and they are both on my mood boards. I love them, I think they're gorgeous and it's a great way to kind of inject a little bit more color, a different texture, a different pattern into a room without diving in headfirst and choosing a fabric for a sofa or curtains or something that's a little bit more long lasting. With a cushion, I think they're so easy, you can change them out, you can change the cushion covers, they're so easy to store and you can switch them up seasonally, it's just a really good way to accessorize your space. I also love mixing up my cushions throughout different rooms in the house, so that is gonna be a great thing as well. Now this is a little bit of a random one, but probably the one that I'm most excited about. And I am kind of trying to convince Jack that this is the most perfect item, but I cannot wait to have my own oven. I honestly love things like this, appliances, and like fridges and washing machines and stuff like that I love. I don't know why it's so strange, but in my old family home, I loved our oven. It was just so big and so bulky and it had two doors and it was so practical and I loved using it. And now we live in our flat, we have like an induction hob and it's just really modern, really simple, really basic. Perfect for what we need, but considering we're renovating, I really want to invest in the oven of my dreams. This range cooker is the Dolce Vita. It's stainless steel and brass. And oh my God, I love it. So this is kind of the vibe of the hardware in our house. It's gonna be a mixture of the both. And it's kind of like dual toned. I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket with having everything brass or everything stainless steel. I like the combination of the two and I like the same with jewelry or hardware on handbags or whatever. I just really love how it looks together. So this literally combines both and I just think it's beautiful. I know some of you may not like it, but I am obsessed. Jack is kind of on the fence. He's like, I like it, but I don't know, but I think it's just because it's different and that is why I love it. It's got that real kind of like traditional farmhouse feel, but it also does look quite modern and quite stylish, which I really love. And then onto some kind of little accessories. I'm going to have some shelving in my office and I really want to get some new little knickknacks, some new bits and bobs that I can fill the shelves with, whether that's like coffee table books or bowls. Most of these things I will probably buy, most of those items like ceramics, I will probably buy secondhand um, or DIY and make them myself just because I think it's so much nicer to have that little bit of personality and it's not just like a carbon copy. 
but that being said i do absolutely love this now this is such a tiny piece but i just think it's gorgeous it's just a really simple marble pot from h&m home do you know what one thing that's probably really controversial but i really don't like h&m home it's very rare that i see things on there now that i really love I used to love it when it first launched and I was obsessed and I bought stuff from there all the time. But as time's gone on and I've started finding things, different websites and eBay and Facebook Marketplace and like making stuff myself, I just, I'm not a fan anymore. I feel like it just looks so cheap and naff and it's just the same thing everywhere. But I do think with brands like that, you should never completely overlook it. And I do always check the website because often I get things like linen napkins or like linen tablecloths or curtains or one-off pieces like this. And I really love this. I think it's gorgeous. I love the shade of marble. It's kind of like a, a brownie grey. It reminds me of Farron Ball Mouse's Back paint and I really love it. Something like this on like a neutral shelving, I think it's gorgeous. Another thing on my wish list, which I think I might ask for my birthday, is this diptyque candle. I love candles and I love diptyque so much. I recently saw Flavia with this candle and she used it as a vase and she put some flowers in it and it looked stunning. And although I definitely don't need any more candles, especially in our apartment, I'm running out of surfaces to put candles on. But in the house, I'm gonna have a lot more rooms, a lot more space to fill. And I love lighting candles, especially candles that really fill the room. You can burn them for five minutes and it fills the room. You don't even have to light it and you can smell it. I love that. This Diptyque Scent 34 Boulevard Saint Germain is absolutely stunning. And my car smells of this. I have the diffuser and I really want my office to smell like this. So in my shelving unit, I really would love to have this candle. It's 600 grams, it's not cheap. I think it's 165 pounds, but that's gonna take me a very long time to burn. And also I then have got a gorgeous pot at the end. <laughs> Okay, I think that brings me to the end of today's wish list video. I really hope you enjoyed this. Do let me know what piece from the wish list you like the most. Also, if you do want to see any kind of updated home chats, plans, or anything like that, do let me know. I know I'm still a couple of months away from moving, but it's gonna be a busy two months and time is gonna go very quickly and I am just so excited. So yeah, do let me know if that's something you wanna see and I will see you in my next video. Bye.